So very good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah. It's fine. So uh, today, uh, as you can see, my session is more of a SOFOS, but uh, SOFOS related solutions. However, uh, we have already heard a lot of panelists and the speakers who are talking a lot about autonomous, especially, right? Machine learning and on the artificial intelligence. On top of that, we are also talking a lot about the business continuity, right? So today, what I have is that I have some uh, figures. Uh, we did some survey, uh, especially for the manufacturing organization. And let me help to understand how SOFOS can help in terms of fortifying your factory, right? So industry systems are getting more, uh, getting more uh, connected. Right, And I'm sure you all would be agree with me. Today, we need to have a stronger cyber security uh, without any challenges. Right, And on top of it, we need to have a better security in terms of uh, uh, complied with uh, data protection and cyber security regulations. And finally, we need to have a uninterrupted business continuity. Right. So I'm sure everybody here would be would want to have a better cyber security uh, on for their uh, industry, right? So this is a survey what we did uh, recently uh, in uh, January and February 2024, uh, where we have uh, talked to anon anonymously for more than 5,000 customers, uh, ranging from 100 to 5,000. And these were the results, and where you can see around 585 customers are from the manufacturing organization, right? So let's see what are the interesting figures. So especially when you talk about ransomware attacks in the manufacturing, so it is getting increased day by day, year on year. So it is very dangerous, and we need to have some set of security posture to tackle with them. 44% of the computers are impacted on average in ransomware attacks. And this is a fact. And with the same uh, report also had where almost 4% of the, at this customer site, 91% of their assets were actually got encrypted. Imagine what would be the situation for them. These are the root cause of the ransomware. And I'm seeing this from last one year, uh, last 10 years, right or wrong, same malicious email related issues. Then on top of that, you have vulnerabilities, which is never ending. We are getting more and more vulnerabilities. On top of that, we are also having third party security solutions, right? So apart from that, attackers are becoming more and more smarter. They are also going after your backups. And I'm sure in last three years, whenever there was a ransomware attack, uh, the OEM or the vendor would come and they will say that, Ki, sir, you should be having a backup solution so that even if your data got encrypted, you uh, nothing to worry, you can still restore from the backup. But the problem is that even the attackers are going for the backup, and if you see the other number, which is 53%, where the attacker has went for their backup and they were successful. Additionally, double dip. So we already heard about triple extortion in terms of ransomware attack. But this is something which is common now. Whenever the ransomware attacks happen, they also steal your data. So 28% of ransomware attacks were data where encrypt, uh, they not only encrypted their data, but they also steal their data. Recovery time. This is something surprising and something dangerous uh, when you look at these numbers. So for any manufacturing organization, if you ask me, uh, it has to be very quick and fast, right? maybe maximum one day, two day, I'm still imagining what will happen in that one or two days. But if you see the maximum time for that data recovery it takes almost seven days. And there are other numbers which are more than seven days. So you can imagine what will be the situation in such type of incident. So yes, automation, adapting to a new technology, AI is good. What if AI is replaced with my AI or my I, I right? Means the data is actually got corrupted or maybe somebody has tampered that, right? Even when you talk about the average, ransomware demand, it like is increased. Uh, 167 so percent in median time, year, average and, and also mean, mean average, it is 88% increase from last year. 
So it is a serious fact, so attackers are also demanding a lot. To this, we also have some other facts and numbers where we have also seen that attackers, uh, when they go for a demand, they also negotiate. They negotiate like we, whether you want, means whatever demand is there, whether you want to pay that, or if you are a good in negotiation, you can pay less also. So these are the security challenges what we have seen across. I am sure most of them would be agreeing with me, right? Uh, majorly, the one of the greatest challenges is the legacy systems. We still have a lot many legacy systems in, within our infrastructure. Second major challenge is the vulnerability. How fast we do the patch managing. In ma manufacturing organization, patching is one of the biggest tasks for any customer, right? And on top of it, then you have third-party vendors. You're connected with so many third-party vendors for your business deals, and even are they protected? Can, do they, will they become a part of your attack, like a attack chain, right? On additionally, phishing-related attacks. So we have already seen in past, phishing attacks are one of the common, uh, still one of the highest when it comes to attack vectors. Uh, apart from that, we also already heard with the panelists, like we are also moving to uh, Industry 5.0 where everything will be connected, right? And our data would be on cloud. So how we are going to secure that particular data? And finally, the legacy systems. So I'm sure still a lot many customers would be having a lot many legacy systems like Windows XP and SCADA, PLC and whatnot. So how we are going to tackle with such challenges? So from Sophos, we have this recommendation where first, of, first thing is the prevention is always better, right? So when we are talking about prevention, it is possible that we would be not having all the technologies in line, but you need to, first thing, you need to always prioritize your patching. You should also adapt to multi-factor authentication. On top of that, you need to also look for DLB, encryptions, and other part to it. From the protection side, you should be having a very strong control points, like device control, web application, and uh, uh, encryption, and uh, application-related controls. Lockdown policies, file integrity monitoring. There are multiple things which needs to be there for the protection side. Talking about detection and response is purely your EDR, right? Today, you should know what exactly is happening in your network. And I'm sure most of the customers have already invested a lot in their XDR or an EDR kind of a solution, right? And finally, planning and preparation. So this is the one more area you need to focus a lot. And this is where we are able to see, uh, if you ask me, in next five to 10 years, right, more than uh, like preparation, uh, protection and uh, preparedness would be one of the uh, one of the requirement for any customer I means they need to heavily invest and they need to invest on not only technology but on the people right are we ready for that that is where it comes about the incident response what will happen if there is an incident today are we ready are we prepared do we have anything in line right that is where sophos comes into picture so sophos do have a very strong pillar in terms of xdr then firewall with ZTNA, and we also have email security. So we have already talked about all these challenges, and this is already taken care with our first layer of uh, defense technologies. Then especially for the OT environment, we have added a new technology called NDR, which is network detection and response. So here, I'm sure in the OT environment, we cannot install security posture on all your machines, right? So for that, we have this NDR where you can monitor or sense your network, where you can identify unmanaged devices like your SCADA, PLCs, OT-related devices, IoT, legacy systems, and all that. You can also sense for the rogue devices, because most of the time, uh, again, from uh, if you ask me, from the Microsoft has released a report last year, where they say 84% of the attacks which happened they were actually started from unmanaged devices. So are you, whether all your systems today are protected with any of the security solution? That is a question you need to ask. Apart from that, we will also identify novel threats and insider threats, because insider threats is again one of the uh, problem area. MDR, so MDR is our focus product today. We are investing, we are focusing a lot, and you can see from the number we already have 22,000 plus customers who are already on the MDR side. 
And when it comes to response as an action, you can see we take only 38 minutes on an average. So one minute for detection, 25 minutes for investigation, and further 12 minutes for response. And that is the action plan we should have in terms of preparedness. So this is one of my interesting slides. So as I said, right, so where we are offering our MDR services, we don't want your invest, invest, uh, invest to go wire. So whatever investments you have already did with your firewall or maybe your security solutions, we will uh, work together with them in terms of whether you have any end endpoint security or firewall, network, email, identity security, even backup. So we keep on adding this. We are refreshing this every month by month. And already we have added multiple. And if you see the coming there, we are going to add F5 and Acronis. So what are the top use cases when it comes to MDR? So majorly, whenever we are talking about MDR, there are two major challenges. Uh, after the COVID era, we all, I'm sure everybody would agree with me that we have been gone through multiple changes and we have adapted to a lot many technologies within our uh, environment. So in that situation, first challenge is complexity and the second challenge is, is the expertise. Do we really have an expertise to look into all the technologies? There are so many alerts which are gen getting generated from different solutions. Are we looking at all of them? You will not believe that when we talk to some of the customers, they say that we, will, we are not opening the console for more than a week, or sometimes they are not opening the console for a month. Imagine that is the situation when it comes to uh, uh, next gen or maybe XDR kind of a technology is what they are using. So first thing first, with our MDR, we are going to help you with 24 by 7 support. That is human-led, so there would be a uh, experts which are going to help you whenever there is an, any detection or any kind of an incident. And secondly, the vendor consolidation, which I talked about, that we will be having uh, without rip and replacement, we will be helping you to integrate with your existing investment and finally reduce. So I'm sure everybody today would be having their own set of team who are already working on their day-to-day -day activity. On top of that, they need to take a time to, for the security. That is the situation right now. So can't we offload that? The answer is yes, you can offload that particular situation. This is something which we also offer, SOFOS Beach Warranty Protection, which, was, which is of one million. So that is a guarantee of what we give in terms of if you are with SOFOS MDR and say if you got breached, we are there to support you, right? This also includes to your cyber insurance and all that. Apart from this, we have three additional services which is available. So I'm sure this would be a common across the industries and a lot of time we are struggling for an incident, like if there is an attack, what we are going to do. So to cope up with that, we have, first thing we have added retainer services. So retainer services all, uh, all about, you are well protected today, but you, uh, you feel that maybe in future sometime we may get breached, similar to your uh, term insurance or life insurance, you can think from that line, right? So you just need to pay a nominal cost, and on top of that, we will be helping you with the vulnerability assessment and also with health checks. And say if there is any breach, we are the first person to help you in that particular challenge. Secondly, rapid response. Rapid response is that where you already got breached and you want to have a support directly from Sophos, and we will be there to support you. And we are the only vendor today who promise you that 45 days of after uh, incident. Like when once we clean everything, we are going to monitor your network for next 45 days. Nobody does that. And finally, the compromise assessment, where you are uncertain about your network. The problem may be that you feel that there are some suspicious behavior happening within your network, and you want someone or some expert to look into the environment. So we do have a compromise assessment for that. And recently, we have uh, added one more uh, solution that is Manage Risk, uh, powered by Tenable. And uh, this is part of our MDR solution. So you can ask me that what exactly it is and how it would be different. So first thing first, we are initially started with the external attack surface management, where we are going to do this continuously. So this is a continuous attack surface monitoring for you. And 
By end of this year, we are also launching our internal attack surface management for your internal SS. This can be also part of your OT. So this is the SOFOS journey, what we want to carry. That is from, uh, we already are there with the managed risk and you, we want to be one of the best in terms of cyber security as a service. So that's it from my side, thank you. I hope uh, I was able to highlight some of the key challenges and uh, please let me know in case if you have any questions. So we have a booth, so please feel to do visit us for any uh, additional details. So thank you.